I think YouTube has this difficulty setting where it feels like everything that you do on this platform is set to hard mode all the time. You don't know how to compete with everybody in your niche. You don't know what thumbnails and titles to upload. It feels impossible sometimes. And I understand how that feels because I've been uploading YouTube content for a while now. It's weird because I still feel like I've learned absolutely nothing. Like there's so many videos out there. There's so much content and it's really confusing. So this video is for anybody that has been on YouTube for a minute, or maybe you haven't been on YouTube at all and you want to start making videos. So I'm just going to make a few points here and just get straight through a list of stuff that I've learned. And hopefully this is helpful for you because sometimes I don't know if it's helpful for me at all. Anyway, let's get started with this. All right. Point number one, just upload stuff. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Just upload anything. If you have a gaming channel, it doesn't have to be gaming. If it's related to your uh, topic, just upload it. If you have an opinion about something, thoughts, uh, tips and tricks, just upload whatever creative idea you have in your head. Do the best you can. All right. Because when you first start, everything's going to be bad. <laughs> it's all going to suck. It doesn't matter. And you've probably seen tons of videos of people saying that. Trust me. I have old videos that I don't even have on this channel anymore. I actually scrubbed this channel clean way back, like four years ago, because I wanted to just start over. I, I just I had basic YouTube videos up here. I had uh, walkthroughs for games, a few videos about games I was playing at the time. From those videos, I learned the kind of style that I had. I just went in with that same kind of style, and I've just been editing that way ever since. But you don't figure that out until you upload something. So I encourage you to just start somewhere. You have a topic you've, that's been in your head for a year. Just put it out on the channel, uh, title the channel, whatever you want it to be. Um, just be creative. That leads to another point. How do you edit videos? There's tons of ways to do that. There's tons of programs out there, but I'm gonna just give you the one I use and then tell you how to go from there, okay? So the program that I use is DaVinci Resolve. In this program, there's tons of tools. It is free to use. However, there is a paid version, but you don't even need that to start. You can use the free version and just go from there. They have tons of tutorials and tons of free resources to figure out how to use this program. I didn't use them at first. I started going on YouTube first and oh man, I regret doing that because there were full on classes that they had for it. Full on classes. And it's right on their website and it's on their YouTube page as well. So check those out, learn the most you can about the program and then you can start editing right away. The next part is YouTube. There's tons of tutorials on YouTube. So what I do, I find any kind of effect like strobe light or uh, shapes and, and all these different weird ass effects I see people do in videos and I try to describe them in YouTube search the best I can because I don't know the names of all these effects. Some of them have names, some of them do not. You just have to kind of put in what you see in some videos and you'll find it eventually. I have a playlist where every single effect that I find that interests me the most that I want to work on or sometimes work on as I'm thinking of an idea for a video and I'm just, uh, drafting stuff. I will make that playlist and I will put those videos in the playlist so I can come back to them if I forget how to do the effect, which I forget often. <laughs> from there, all that's left is recording the video and then using the skills that you've learned from the tutorials or wherever you learn the skills and you just edit and then you upload. It's that simple. There's other stuff about titles and thumbnails, but we're going to get into that in a second. We're going to get into that in just a second, okay? But that's how you start. That's the hardest part, starting. That's a problem that I have. <laughs> It's just starting. Even this video, I should have made three days ago. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm procrastinating, all right. Uh, this is future me speaking from the day I should have uploaded the video. I waited two extra days to edit and complete the video. It is right now the 20th. This video was supposed to be edited on the 17th. I got to a certain point, I gave up, came back, and I, I, I'm i serious, this is really, my God, dude. You, look, I gotta work on this shit, man, and it happens. Don't let that happen to you as much as it happens to me okay let's get back to the video procrastination i seriously it kills your creativity to procrastinate i'm talking to myself right now i'm not talking to you i'm talking to me <laughs> uh so yeah let's go on to the next part part two thumbnails titles what do you do
I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna be real with you. All of my thumbnails for my videos, I try to make them as relevant to the content of the videos I can. I'll give you an example right now. All right, so let's look at thumbnails and titles. This is my channel here. I'm gonna go with these here, the stuff you see on the screen. So every single thumbnail that I make has some kind of relevance to the actual video itself. In the beginning, I uploaded very simple thumbnails, right? As time went on, when I started to get back into everything, my thumbnails became better. And that just became something I learned how to do from watching other YouTubers do that. Every now and again, you had like videos like this, like there's nothing going on in the thumbnail, but the title, right? It's there, the thumbnail's there. But I tried to get more creative with them. It just keeps going and going and going up until where we currently are right about here. This is where we are right now. So what I recommend with thumbnails, I would make sure that the thumbnail has some kind of element in it that not only get people's attention, but it's also related to the video. Don't make a thumbnail where it shows one thing, but you never talk about the thing that the person is looking at in the thumbnail. There's channels that do that. You know the ones. <laughs> it's very annoying because you want the content to be good. If the content doesn't match the thumbnail and even the title, you're left wondering what you're even watching for. Sometimes it just makes you click off altogether because you're like, I don't got time for this. I I'd rather watch a video that shows me what I just saw, <laughs> just shows me what I clicked on. Does making a title and a thumbnail that match the content of the video help the video? It can, definitely. Does that always help? Not really. Uh, in my experience, YouTube's been really, um, how can I put this without, nah, I'll just say it. YouTube sometimes is a bitch. Like it's a total asshole, okay? Like it, it is. And you'll put in work in your thumbnails. Like these recent videos I've made, my thumbnails, are better than they've ever been. This, for example, right here, the one I'm hovering over. This video, check out this video, by the way. I, I fucking loved working on this one. It's a Helldivers 2 video. This is one of my favorite videos I've worked on, and it has 31 views. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> it does. YouTube. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna give you an example of what happens sometimes when you put effort in and YouTube still is like, whatever, it, it doesn't care, okay? Because <laughs> this happens. This happens way more often than you think it does. All right, here we go. Here it is. Look at all of these drafts, all right? Look at these. I made so many. <laughs> I'm gonna scroll through them. Sometimes you have an idea and you're really invested, right? I was really invested in making sure that this thumbnail turned out to be as good as it possibly could be. And it did not work out, all right? It happens. Am I upset? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm very upset, but it's trial and error. You're not always gonna get it right, but that's how this works. Don't get discouraged by this. Take inspiration from other people's titles and thumbnails. I look at tons of thumbnails and study some of that shit to figure out what are people doing? Sometimes thumbnails are so repetitive. I'm like, this guy makes the same thumbnail that these other 10 people make. How are they different? <laughs> but there's people watching these videos. There's people watching these videos. So keep trying. <laughs> it's gonna suck sometimes when you see that you put a lot of effort into your thumbnails and no one watches your video. You put a lot of effort into the title and no one watches your videos. It's going to happen. And then randomly, like this one here, let me see if I can find it. A video like these two over here, these did really well. I'm like, what? I just uploaded these videos and I was like, no one's gonna watch these. This sucks. <laughs> and they did well. I don't understand how this works. If somebody could explain to me the YouTube algorithm, that'd be great. Part three, this is probably going to be the most important part of the video. Don't give up easily. I sometimes give up way too easily on ideas that I'm drafting out, like on what to edit, what to upload, what to work on. I sometimes give up too easily on myself. I don't want other people to do that as well. Um, it, it sucks. It fucking sucks. I think right now I'm at like 10 to 20 ideas I could have done by now. I never tried it. I never tried it because I was so stuck in my head about what I should be doing for the channel. Like instead of thinking, just upload shit. It's YouTube. Have fun. <laughs> I'm thinking too much about what are people going to watch, man? What are they going to like to watch? I, I, am I entertaining enough? Does, does that even matter? <laughs> Because I've seen some videos that are not that good. Like, no offense uh, to whoever. I don't know who I offended just now. Like, what, I, I didn't really name a video in particular. But, you know, you know when you see a video and you're going, come on, this is the video that got, like, uh, hundreds of thousands of views. There's nothing happening. 
and you'll see another video that somebody edited and it's so good and it got a thousand views you just want to bash your head into your monitor you're like what's going on it makes no sense it's frustrating but don't give up please don't give up uh, because I've seen just a little bit of success myself and I know it's possible to keep going, but I, I have to motivate myself sometimes. I have to push myself to just upload something, have fun with it, and just edit. Because, you know, at the end of the day, no one else is going to do this shit for you. <laughs> you got to figure it out. Um, do you want to upload something and start a YouTube channel and have fun with it and see where it goes or not? That's really what it comes down to. And me saying it out loud, I'm saying this for myself. Again, I am I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I'm just, I'm really talking to myself right now because I do give up way too easily on some of my ideas. I write stuff down. I have notes somewhere in a book somewhere. I'm like, this is a good idea. And then I don't do it. <laughs> and then I don't do it because I'm like, no one's going to watch that shit. Somebody else is going to make the video and they're going to have this dumbass thumbnail and they're going to get all the views in mine. I'm going to put the same amount of effort into the video on the thumbnail. No one's going to fucking see it. <laughs> I just, that's, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. And I'll just upload it because maybe my take on whatever the topic is, is different than the other person that uploaded that I'm talking about in my head. And maybe people agree with me too. <laughs> what? <laughs> but you'll never know if you just give up on the idea altogether. So that this is number three. Do not give up so easily on your ideas. If it's something that sounds like it's really good to you, it might be good to somebody else. Just try it. Just fucking try it. Don't have a notebook full of ideas and, and <laughs> scratch out all of them because one of them could actually be a really good idea that somebody wants to see on YouTube. This will be part number four. If I were to add one last thing that could make YouTube just easier for you in, in general, don't compare yourself to other people. You probably heard that shit a lot. I know. I'm zooming in on the screen right now. You heard, you know what I said. I, I said it. I said the thing. No one wants to hear it. But I do this all the time anyway. I might as well just say it again just for the thousandth time you've heard it. But it's true. Do not compare yourself to the people that have been on YouTube uploading for 10 years, for five years, for three months and now they have 30,000, uh, 1 million subscribers, and they have five videos. It is very hard to do, because you feel like, oh man, I'm complete ass. Like, this fucking sucks. Like, why the fuck am I trying? Like, I get it. Like, oh, I got mad just now. Just saying all of that just made me furious, because I'm thinking of a few channels I discovered on another video, looking up tips and tricks, and then they gave examples. I was on a vidIQ video. If you know the channel, they gave me some examples of channels that blew the fuck up and I checked out these channels. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I got so mad. Uh, don't do that. Don't compare yourself to other people. Just do the best you can. All right, there's YouTube. I see people blowing up on this platform every day. I see a channel where people just upload such simple content and it's not even gaming. It's not even gaming. It's other stuff, just other topics. And it's just like, what? It's crazy. It's crazy shit. People are figuring it out right now. And I want you to figure it out. I really do. I want to figure it out myself because God knows I need, I just, I need to figure it out. I, I want to figure it out myself. So hopefully with everything I said here, it wasn't just me yapping. You got something out of it. This isn't supposed to be a guide or anything. This is just me talking and just giving some examples, just really just talking to you about whatever the hell I've learned so far about YouTube, making it as simple as I can. This isn't really that difficult <laughs> you upload stuff you have fun with it if it goes somewhere in the beginning that's great if it doesn't it might take a little bit of time a lot longer than you think but it takes some time somebody will watch your videos at some point there's no way no one will find your video ever once again i've seen channels out here that have blown up barely any videos they got like 24 videos 80 videos or something like that they found their audience the youtube algorithm had blessed them or they knew what they were doing i don't know if you see these channels out there if you know what i'm talking about study what they're doing figure out what they're doing watch their videos see how they format things maybe they're doing something that you don't know try your best upload something upload just give it a shot <laughs> Don't give up on the idea. No matter how stupid the idea looks in your head, it might actually be a good idea. It might be, but you're never gonna know until you upload it. But that's it for this video. I'm done yapping on about this. Subscribe, like the video, uh, comment down below, and yeah, I'll see you later. Take care of yourselves. Peace.